According to the chair of the forum, who also doubles as the state minister for sports, Honorable Hamson Obua, the late was a patriotic person, and under his leadership, Tanzania registered several achievements through infrastructure like roads, hospitals, and also the success in the fight against corruption. The chair's message was delivered by the Kole District Woman Member of Parliament, Judith Aliek. Corruption in Tanzania, and now Tanzania is feeling well by doing so many things that could have not been done if he had not fought corruption. Magufuli did a lot in improving uh, the health facilities in Tanzania, and also he has been supporting sports. In the same line, the Member of Parliament representing Bukanga constituency, which is a border constituency with Tanzania, Kangwaye Stephen Rakanuma, Magufuli was a patriotic person who loved his country and therefore should be used as a litmus paper to other leaders. He was too patriotic, a real Pan-Africanist. The person who loved Tanzania, the person who loved East Africa, the person who had Africa at heart. When you talk about Magufuri, you could easily see Africa. For us, we have an opportunity of interacting with Tanzanians whenever we feel we should be in Tanzania. Those people were too proud because of their leader. He could tell everyone that Africa first. Africa first but Tanzania in particular. The Bukoli Island Member of Parliament, Oma George Abbott, said that there is a lot to learn from Magufuli, which include being non-tribalistic, fighting corruption, among other achievements, which he registered in his lifetime. Learn from him, because even after his death, you look that he's going to live below, beyond his death. He's a person, as my colleague has said, who totally loved his people, Tanzania first. Tanzania first. When you go to Tanzania, I was in Tanzania, I was in Arusha, I was in Dodoma, you are seeing a country that is united. Yes, leaders normally have challenges. We may not underlook at those challenges because as human beings, sometimes we are a mixed bag. Gonahasa Francis Barnabas, the Kabwele constituency member of parliament, highlighted several areas which Magufuli used to save millions for the country by reducing money spent on public ceremonies, reduce on the pay for public servants, among others, as well as following on service deliveries to the least person in the country, among others. 61 year old in five years was able to transform his country. That transformational leadership is an example many of us in Africa miss from Agufuli. Of course, he had compassion. Why compassion? He built the hospitals for the sick. He was sure there's medicine in the hospitals. In some places in this world, we build structures and we call them hospitals, but there's no medicine. He provided the service of his people. He was compassionate. He built schools for the children. We too can do that. He further sent a special message to the opposition politicians. Like, if something is good, say it is good. If it's bad and you're in charge, accept it's bad and correct it. I think that's how countries grow. Big mass spreader, everywhere you go, no masks, people are shouting, everybody is passing saliva across, you know. I think there's a problem. Magufuli made his mistakes. But we look at the big, beautiful things he did. And I personally say, I wish many of us in leadership would do things with integrity, with compassion, with excellence. Because that's where we are. And with time frames as key, you don't have forever to develop your country. As leaders, we must do our part in the years we have. This story has been compiled by Isa Chigongo for Channel 44 Prime News.